welcome books the strange and quirky Norwegian Easter with all its traditions. An essential part of the Norwegian Easter is Easter quiz. So my question to you guys, what do you think Norwegian actually love to do most during Easter? The answer is in the end, you moron. In the end of the video. Yeah, so you have to look <laughs> at this stupid guy. On my way up to the Easter mountain, the holy Norwegian Easter mountain. In my backpack, I will unbox everything about Norwegian Easter, what we eat, what we drink, what we do, and all the strange and unique words and concept that is associated with Easter in Norway. Aren't you supposed to be in the mountain? Where are I you? I am on the Easter mountain. Moron! <sighs> Finally, on the top of the Easter mountain. And everything that is Easter is in here. And you really are tired. But as you can see on Porsche Mountain, it's very, it's a lot of sun. And my God, a lot in, of reflections. In the Easter, Norwegians are gray, at least I am. So the first thing you have to do is uh, put on sunscreen. But actually, you also need a tan because after. Eastern, if you have a tan, then everyone can say, Oh, you've been to Porsche Easter Mountain. Since I had to walk and climb for four hours to get to the Easter Mountain, uh, I am hungry and I'm sweaty and I am. Uh, yeah, you are really sticky. The whole of you are sticky. That's a typical Easter feeling. You have. You're sweaty. Yeah, sweaty and sticky with wool. And you are hungry, so you need Easter food. I love your mountain. And uh, the first thing you start with is the uh, matpakke. But then you need some real proper food. And you think it's going to be coffee or something, but no. Easter hot dogs. These are very good for hot dog. So, typical Easter food in Norway. Hot dogs on a thermos like this. After walking for hours. And oh my god, it tastes really good. But the most iconic Norwegian Easter food, and I mean, there will be no Easter without this. And it's like a symbol for the whole Easter in Norway. And that's a uh, orange. <laughs> what is it with this orange? Oranges are essential. Yeah, but it's very cold in Norway. I guess some yeah, of this so, is frozen, isn't so, it? Mmm. Okay. Mm. This is frozen <laughs> oranges. And then you need a dessert, dessert, and then this is also an iconic Easter what? tradition. A chocolate called quick lunch. Uh, this is the people who say Kit Kat Kope, but I'm sorry guys, this was made some years before Kit Kat. And a cold Norwegian Easter mountain, it's hard to wrap up quick lunch. And I mean, one package is all you, you have for the Easter. So, I mean, this is my first day on Easter Mountain and I'm going to be here for five or six days. So I can only have this one here. Can I have one? And then you have to carefully wrap it again. And this is what you have for food. But there's a big surprise. I mean, actually we splash when it comes to Easter in Norway too. Drumroll! The Easter egg. Wow! With a lot of harmful uh, uh, rubbery uh, sweets like this that will give you a 
overflowing stomach, if you understand what I mean. Which cost a million. This yeah. is not Norwegian. Yeah, but this is for Easter. Uh, and now I'm thirsty. So now we are going over to Easter drinks, coffee. Easter coffee. And how do you know it's Easter coffee? Well, because you <laughs> mix it with a, a clunk of vodka. Oh my God, you have an Easter coffee. To get that Easter egg down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, you are so stuffed with all this uh, luxury food. So you need a... But I hope this isn't all the alcohol you no, brought. No, no, no. Because we have one uh, really iconic drink too, which is also mandatory for all each uh, Easter. No, it's not alcohol. Oh no, but this is uh, our uh, soda called uh, Sulu. It's a Fanta copy more or less. Sulu Super. Mm. Oh, give me something more. And as you see here, ye yellow, of course is uh, the color of uh, yeah it's the color they're supposed to be orange of course there's no orange only color but they say it's orange inside soda sulu is this all of the alcohol you brought uh, no no this is only for the Boske mountain and of course as a good norwegian you always have a bag in box not one. No, no, but you, you can... You only brought one? No, only for this trip on the mountain. In, in the cottage, there are 10 or I think 15 more of these. Of course, that's really... Mandatory. Because everything is closed in uh, Oslo during yeah. Easter. Except... Five, where... five days, everything is closed, cannot buy alcohol. So you have to stock up. Now you have eaten, you're not thirsty anymore, and then you are really bored because there are so many days and you are there with your family and you go, what the F are you going? Uh, after one day, you look at your clock. Are, it, are we not going home? It's time for traditions. It's time for Easter traditions. You always have to play a game. This is uh, Yatsi. It's the most boring game ever. And because no Easter in Norway is quite boring. So uh, this is what we do. We play. Oh, we are Yatsi. forced to play this for five days. Strike. Yeah, this is what you do day after day after day after day. Oh, hooray. And you are more and more angry at your parents, at your family, and, and you're then you turn to this. Yes, and you drink <laughs> more of this. And, uh, yeah. This is so Norwegian. Yeah. It's uh, the most boring we could no, ever it's a, bring. It's a classic. It's a classic uh, Easter in Norway game. What do you read this Easter? Yeah. Be you cannot read whatever in Easter in Norway. You can only read crime books or watch crime TV shows. And it has to be linear TV shows. And it also has to be British. Yeah, a lot it of has British. To be British yeah. yeah. And you have to have at least one, two, or somebody has ten uh, different uh, crime books, Easter crime. So, what's uh, so, so appealing with this plot to you? It's 21 days to kill someone. Can you explain what it's about? It's about. Uh, <laughs> you don't know, you moron. No. You just brought it. Yeah, but it's. You can see the crime signs and. I think it's a good book. So we can have an Insta of you. It, it says here, it makes James Bond to look weak and very quiet. On day five, you have you have been hang you have hangover for five days. You're so sick and tired of your family, and you have tried everything, doing something together, doing something in your own head, and then finally, survival kit. It's the quiz because. You have to do quiz. I asked you a question in the beginning of the, this video. What do you think really actually Norwegians love to do most? Is it the Easter Mountain? Is it something here? Or is it something totally different? Totally different. What Norwegian really, really, really loves to do during Easter? 
I know. Is to go to Sweden. To, to escape. To escape for Sweden to south to a beach with cheap alcohol, with a lot of sun and beach. That's what we really. Because we are so shitty. Uh, um, Eastern a mountain that's only a sweaty, frugal, hangover thing. It's totally meaningless. So I am leaving for A cucaracha, a cucaracha, 